I am Harry F. Bird. I was born June 10, 1887 in Martinsburg, West Virginia. My parents moved to Virginia the same year. I lived in the 19th century from 1887 to 1966. One fact you may not know about me is I was also a descendant of one of the first families of Virginia, which included William Berg II and Pocahontas. I quit school when I was 15 years old to take over my father's failing newspaper. I was able to turn the business around using my pay-as-you-go system. I commenced a paper company to bring daily shipments of paper for immediate payment. There were times the paper was late because I could not find enough money, but when you have to hunt for pennies the way I did, you get to know how many cents there really are in a dollar. From 1915 to 1965, I played an active role in government. I held the position of state senator, fuel administrator, governor, and U.S. senator. I am famously known for the term massive resistance. Faced with the Supreme Court's 1954 school desegregation decision, I pushed the state down the road of resistance and school closing, an embarrassment chapter with which to close a long career of dedicated public service. Massive resistance was designed to maintain segregated schools and perpetrate the power of the machine that was being threatened by new political oppositions. I spent my last years unsuccessfully combating the tax cuts, civil rights legislation, and social programs of President John F. Kennedy and Lyndon B. Johnson. I retired from the Senate in November 1965. Sad 1965, sadly I died 11 months later from a brain tumor. Any questions? How did it, were you proud of yourself um, when you decided that you didn't want, that you didn't want integrated schools? Um, um, I wanted to keep things the way they are and not change them, so. How old were you when you died? Well, I was born in 1887, and I died in 1966. Do the math. Thank you.